this cabinet for only $200 when I was about 12 years old. It was my first real big guitar amplifier. I may have had a small one that wasn't really loud enough to play with the drums and I wanted one loud enough to play with the drums when you really, when there's someone really playing drums loud. So when I was 12, I got this for only $200. And um, it used to have a black leather or leather some sort of leather stuff on the outside of it and and it was kind of coming apart and looked pretty bad so i took it off and put this blue pleather one on it and glued it to it and i think my mom helped me my mom helped me do it because i was so young and then later i think in my early 30s or late 20s um the the front stuff was coming off the um the um the fabric on the front was coming apart so i just took it all the rest of the way off and painted it a custom i painted it a custom um blue like a light blue and i put those things to cover the speakers to protect the speakers on it so i did it my own way because i'm an artist i'm an original artist so it's like my own art done to it to protect it rather than the you know, leaving it in its original condition which all the vintage ones are pretty much cosmetically they look awful so let's look up how much these cabinets are worth it sounds just as good as it ever sounded now let's look it up okay we're on my iPhone let's go to eBay Let's go to eBay. I have not looked it up. Let's see. Vintage 1977 Marshall Cabinet. What they sell for? Uh, these are new. There's a 71 for, there's a 1971 for $1,800. Right here in 1971 for $1,800. It's only four speakers. Mine's eight. Um, it's got some wear on it. You can tell. See? They get wear on them when they're that old. They pretty much, they all have wear on them, I think. Um, they sound really good. They sound as good as they did when they were first played or better. I think <sighs> something about the speakers, they don't wear out or something. They're really good. Um, I cannot find one of mine. These are all like new ones. These are all like new ones. I found the 71. Here's a 1970, only four speakers, $1,600. <sighs> mine's, mine's eight. Mine's a big one. I cannot find a real 
vintage <clears throat> this one they have seven days to bid on so it doesn't count and so it's really low <clears throat> it'll go up really high this is a pretty good close one mine may be worth a lot it could be worth thousands of dollars I don't know Let's look up vintage Marshall cabinet, 1977. Look at the condition of this, a th more than a thousand dollars. Let's look at the condition of it. More than a thousand dollars. More than a thousand dollars. They sound good. They still sound really good. Here's one from '66. It's almost seven thousand dollars. It is almost seven thousand dollars. Look, was eighty nine hundred. How do you click on the picture of it? Well, that's pretty cool. Was eighty nine hundred at Guitar Center? Um, I'm trying to find the. Hey, I think this is mine. No, that's not mine. I'm trying to find one that looks like mine. That has here it is. Well, here's one that has eight speakers in it. I think, but it's a different year. It looks like mine. Mine looks like that inside. It looks like new. It looks untouched like new inside. Like this when you take take the back off of it. Um, this is $2,000. I bought it for $200. I'm looking for one that really looks... Now this is a different style... This is an 80, 1982. This is when they started making them look like this. Like Metallica had. And all those big bands had. I don't know. That's different. But it's a, it's kind of the same. You know, 1982. Let's look. And this is, this is newer. Actually, it's $2,000. $2,000. Mine's probably worth about, you know, a lot. I got it for $200, $200 when I was 12 years old. This guy was a metalhead that worked at the um, music store and he was really good. He was, he was a little older than me. And um, I think he, it was at his mom's house and I bought it for $200 because back then it was like an older cabinet and then it became vintage. I had it so long it became vintage. Now it's worth like 200 Two thousand, uh, not two hundred thousand, but you know, maybe like eighteen hundred, two thousand, three thousand, maybe more. I don't know. Anyway, I invested in it when I was twelve, four, thirteen, fourteen years old. I re recovered it with this pleather. The 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 original stuff had fallen apart so much it was just didn't look that good. It, w it was in better condition than this, but then the um the Marshall word stayed. But the um, this mesh stuff started falling. The cat started scratching it too, and it was already old. So I took it off and painted it. Okay.
Okay, that was me playing guitar. That was me playing guitar. Um, me playing electric guitar on my 77 vintage Marshall cabinet that I got when I was 12 years old or around 12 years old for only $200. <laughs> These sound really good, even when they're really old. That's why the vintage ones sound really good. Marshall the best pretty much the best you know they have all the ones that are there so um 
I brought it in here and played guitar, electric guitar for the first time. It had been a long time. It had been a long time. So that's it. Okay, click like in the video. Subscribe. Bye. This is John Birmingham. Bye.